Graham, we don't get much opportunity in the UK to look at the Rodas machines, but we're here at EMO 2017. There's lots of machines here on the stands from Rodas. Give our audience an idea of what they cover and what sort of machines they are. Yeah, Rodas sell a range of um, high precision three and five axis machines. So here on the stand, we've got um, three of each. So we've got a high speed, well, they're all high speed machines. So from a base spindle of 30,000 RPM with HSK 63. Up. Is that the slowest machine, 30,000? Well, it's actually 24, but we've got a, a 30,000 spindle here. So Rodas aren't in the market for selling 10K spindles? No, no, no they're not, no. Um, so you're talking 30,000 and up? 24. And upwards, yeah. So they go up to 90,000 RPM spindles for jig grinding. So Rodas machines can all have, or all have the capability of jig grinding on them. And they're quite a fast machine beyond the spindle as well, the, the way they move around. I mean, yeah. there's some really dynamic movement yeah. in there. Yeah, typically 60 metres a minute uh, cutting feed and rapids. So there's no differentiation between the two. Uh, what about acceleration? Is that, I mean, that, that, I mean, we talk about G's of acceleration. Do you know what that would be on these yeah. machines? The, the, the Rodas machines vary from 2 to 3 G acceleration. That's very fast. Yeah, they, they do a, a dedicated impeller making machine, which is 3G acceleration. What I notice about the machines, though, there aren't many big machines. They all seem to be quite nimble and quite small. Is that because you couldn't have a, a big machine moving at that speed? Yeah, you say, you say that, not big. We've actually got a, an RXP 1200 DSH. I've not got to that one yet. Maybe no, I'll have no, it. No, no, that's, that's a really big five axis machine. Can take over a ton on the table. And is that as fast as what you've just been saying? Yes, on X, Y and Z. The, the rotary axis is not quite as fast, but yeah, but to, to move a ton around. So Herco in the UK, you're, you're, you're supplying the Rodas markets into the, the Rodas machines into the UK yeah. market. Where do you sell them, Graham? Who buys this type of machine? It's, it's all sorts of people from um, subcontract to mold and tool making is the, is the main industry. And, and do you get a lot into subcontractors? Because you know, to, to find subcontractors machining at that sort of speed is quite unusual, isn't it? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we, 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 this year we sold a couple to, to um, subcontractors. And it, and it fits the, the Herco, uh, the mix is good, isn't it, from Herco machines to the rotors. There's no, there's no crossover really, is there? Yeah, I mean, the, the fastest Her Herco RPM spindle is 18,000 on HSK, whereas rotors start at 24,000 RPM. Um, 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 do they go beyond the five axis or is it purely milling five axis machines? No, it's, it's purely milling five, three and five axis machines. As for highlights, Graham, what, what's been your highlight here on this stand? It's the impeller making machine. It's a dedicated machine for aluminium impellers. Um, we're swarf cutting for less than three minutes for a full, full impeller. So how fast is that machine moving, sort of cut, cutting feeds, do you it's, know? It's 60 metres a minute. But the inertia and the the speed of the rotary table is just incredible. So this is the machine with 3G acceleration. Do you know anything about jerk factors? Yes, I do. And what, what, what's the jerk rating on this? That, that particular machine on roughing is jerk nine. So that's extreme, the inertia is extreme. So you'll see the actual covers of the machine rocking, but the base and the construction of the machine is rock solid still.